truth is out. Roy Moore accuser finally admits the truth. When it happens, it's regularly when a man is in a type of a better position over a lady. He at that point utilizes that position or the circumstances it makes to make undesirable sexual advances on her. Or on the other hand more lawful. Regardless, it is hostile, disparaging, and regularly unlawful. Such acts are surely meriting punishment. At that point, there is the contrary offense. This would be the point at which a lady has a type of a plan to seek after and makes a bogus claim of abuse against a man. The issue, obviously, is there is at times any definitive proof. In its non-attendance, it turns into a matter of whom to accept. The man, regardless of whether guiltless, stays polluted by the accusations. Roy Moore is the Republican candidate to fill the opening made when then-Senator Jeff Sessions left his Senate seat to end up Attorney General. As a staunch conservative, a supporter of President Trump, and the sky is the limit from there, he produces controversy each time he talks. He has likewise been blamed for sexual misconduct. He energetically denies the cases. His informer has utilized as confirmation a comment she has charged he wrote in her yearbook. Presently she has admitted that while he wrote in her yearbook, she included the part that is hostile. Thus, Moore's attestation of blamelessness seems considerably stronger. Beverly Young Nelson admitted to ABC News that she added notes beneath what she says is Roy Moore's signature in her high school yearbook, an inscription that she and famed attorney Gloria Allard presented as proof that then 30-something Moore sought an inappropriate relationship with her in the late 1970s. The notes below the signature appear to be the handwritten date and location. Nelson still insisted that Moore wrote most of the message. Moore has utilized her admission to reinforce his claim of blamelessness. Moore tweeted Friday, now she herself admits to lying. Moore has guaranteed that his informer has had a plan to seek after in making what he guarantees are false accusations. In a brief statement Friday, Moore campaign attorney Philip Jorecki echoed the candidate, saying, what, Nelson and Allard, said, in November, was either a lie or what they said today was a lie, and the voters are going to have to decide. Moore has denied signing the yearbook and said he did not know Nelson at the time. Moore, who went on to become a judge and then the Chief Justice of the Alabama State Supreme Court, later ruled against Nelson in a 1999 divorce case. Nelson isn't the main lady who has blamed Moore for sexual misconduct. The Nelson accusation had bolstered claims by other women that Moore sought relationships with teenage girls in the late 1970s. Lee Korfman claims Moore molested her when she was 14. Another woman claims Moore groped her in his office in 1991. Are these accusations essentially terrible endeavors to prevent the staunch conservative from winning a Senate situate? Or then again do they have to justify? It's fascinating that these accusations have been lethargic until the point that Moore's Senate campaign. Tragically, these cases are regularly outlandish, or possibly exceptionally hard to demonstrate in any case. Presently one of the informers has been shown to have lied. One is innocent until demonstrated guilty. Unless substantial evidence is delivered or more admits, these cases ought to make little difference to his campaign. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for reading, for reading.